Now in crypto, staying ahead means identifying opportunities early. This is where token screen comes in. This is a dashboard view that's designed to help you discover high potential tokens by analyzing on-chain data and market trends. It is a powerful filtering tool that allows you to scan the market for tokens that meet specific criteria based on what you set. Now you can get started with this by going to the left and hitting tokens. And you'll be welcome to this dashboard here. So we'll start off with the overview. First, you want to select chains for your desired token. So here I have Solana, Base, and Ethereum selected, but maybe I'll just add Tron to this as well and I press save. And you'll see the token screener will update based off of those four chains I've selected. And keep in mind, the token screener updates the data real time, hence this little toggle here showing live. Now you can filter this by different time frames, so looking at tokens in the last 10 minutes, last hour, six hours, and so on. And then if I want to filter this further down, I can go on the left and choose with market cap. So if I want to, let's say I want to choose something in the small market cap, so less than 50 million. I can do so, and I'll filter my tokens down. If I want to choose, I can choose what sector I'm interested in. So let's say I like to choose AI agents. So if I save that, then I'll filter the tokens once more. You can also choose based off token filter by token age and i can even filter it by any of these options here so let's say i want to choose i want to filter down by tokens with a minimum of 10 buyers so if i press save go about doing so and voila now i have a much more filtered down view that allows me to discover any opportunities that might be out there now Beyond this, you can also take a look at the tokens in your watch list, but also customize your view for more personalized experience. If I hit customize, you'll notice that the dash, the, the table looks slightly different with these grayed out columns. So in these grayed out columns, you can actually click this little pencil button and then adjust the column for what you want to show instead. So maybe for this one, I'll hit velocity. So instead of seller, it's hit velocity, and then maybe instead of one hour change, I wanted to show a 10 minute change instead. You can customize the columns accordingly. And if you hit filter, you can also, you'll also notice that there are a lot more filter options compared to the default view. Now going back to the default view, let's say I get rid of all these filters, just so I want to show as much data as possible. And now it's just only showing tokens within the AI agent sector. And if I go to the right, I can then filter this based off of smart money traders. So whether it's by label or just toggle this on to show what are the smart money investors actually doing. And so you see it's narrowed it down much further before it was showing many more um, tokens. But once I've hit smart money, I notice that smart money are just looking at these three tokens. Now beyond the token screener, I can also hit this tab trending on Nansen to get a better idea of what are the popular tokens that differ pricing plans on Nansen are looking at. So if I scroll to the bottom, free users are looking at all of these tokens in the last seven days, pioneer users looking at these tokens and professional users with these tokens. So I can look at some trends. So for example, Lux, I know as pioneer users or professional users in the last seven days are all keeping a tab on Jelly Jelly and Lux. So this might be an interesting token to look into. And going up at the top is a nice data visualization show the token popularity by the week. So there you have it. This was getting started with the token screen or dashboard. Now you should be able to dig into interesting opportunities for tokens. Now make sure to check out some of the other videos as part of this 101 series so you can use Nansen to surface the signal and create winners.